In the past video, we discussed the concept of the average rate of change of a function that depended on the interval where we took the average. But now what if we wanted to find the instant, the instantaneous rate of change of a function? Let's try to see this with the following example. Let's go back to our previous example. So remember again, this is the graph of the distance traveled by a car in two hours. And let's say now we want to find how fast was the car going after one hour and 45 minutes. So this will be this point here. And we want to find how fast were we going at exactly that moment. How can we do this? We will use the average rate of change to try to compute this. So the first thing is we will try to zoom in a bit into our function. So it will look something like this. So here we have our function zoom in. So we're trying to find here at X, which remember was one hour and 45 minutes. And we want to try to find how fast were we going at exactly this moment. So what we're trying to, we will try to do is to approximate that instantaneous rate of change by using average rate of change as we get closer and closer to X. So for example, take another number, X plus H to the right of X. Now we have two different values here where the difference between them is exactly h, and we can use this to compute the average rate on this interval. So remember this, the value of the function here will be f of x, and here it will be f of x plus h. So in this case, the average rate of change will be, as we've been computing, will be f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So how about now we do, we take h to be a bit smaller. Let's try that. So now h is a bit smaller, so x plus h is a bit closer to x. And we, we can repeat the same thing we did before. So we can compute the average rate of change to be again equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Remember that the difference between these two points is exactly h. And notice that this is getting if I take h closer and closer to zero, then these two points are getting closer and closer. And that is the idea behind trying to compute the instantaneous rate of change. It will be the limit when h goes to zero of the average rate of change. Let's try to see that written down. So now as we make h smaller and smaller, we will get the following. The instantaneous rate of change at x will be equal to the limit when h goes to zero of the average rate that we've been forming before. So it will be f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And as we mentioned before, the instantaneous rate of change will correspond to the slope of the tangent line to the graph 
at x. So remember, in the past, the average rate of change corresponded to the slope of the line connecting those two points. Now, if we want to find the instantaneous rate of change, it is the same as finding the slope of the tangent line to the graph at that point. So this analysis allows us to give us the definition of the derivative of a function. So if we have a function f given by y equals f of x, then the derivative of f at any value x, and we will call it, we will denote it by f prime of x, is defined as follows. The derivative will be equal to the limit when h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, which corresponded to the average rate of change in the interval x between x and x plus h. Of course, this definition only makes sense if the limit exists. So in particular, now we have a function that is given by this limit. So if we have any number c, and if this limit exists for x equals c, then we say that f is differentiable at c.